So today I want to talk about this, the original iPod from 2001. Now let's back up a little bit. 2001 was a long time ago. We were all listening to new NSYNC music and had VCRs in our bedrooms. Apple was a much smaller company at the time. They were just shipping computers. This was really their first entrance into consumer electronics. Now the premise of the iPod was actually pretty simple. You could take all of your music wherever you went. You didn't have to worry about going to the gym or going on a long car ride and realizing you left your music behind. As long as you plugged this little thing into iTunes before you went, you were all set. This led to one of Apple's greatest marketing lines ever. Amazing little device holds a thousand songs and it goes right in my pocket. The iPod would sync with iTunes, which is uh, not great today, but back in 2001 was actually pretty simple and straightforward to use. In fact, iTunes still supports this iPod today. I synced a bunch of music on mine using a Thunderbolt to FireWire adapter and had no problems with it. The iPod itself was really easy to use. You had some really basic controls. You had a scroll wheel that moved your selection up and down through a list of artists or albums or settings. And you had a ring of buttons around the dial to go forward or go backward or to hit play and pause. Now, unlike the click wheel or the touch sensitive iPods that would come later, this iPod is really mechanical. Now, like a lot of Apple products, this original iPod struggled at first. It was probably too expensive and it didn't work with Windows. So Apple limited their market just to Mac users. But over time, that would change. Apple would add Windows support. The devices would get thinner and lighter while also increasing capacity and getting cheaper. A couple years later, the iPod was basically ubiquitous. Everywhere I went in college, you see the white earbuds going into someone's pocket or someone's purse as they were listening to music. Now today, it seems old fashioned to have a music player. We just stream music on our phones all day. But in 2001, this was a huge deal. Remember, we were still carrying portable CD players around. Remember those with the big wallet and skip protection and all that junk? The iPod got rid of all of that and it set the stage for Apple to build its wealth and its size on the music business. But all of that, including the iPhones in our pockets today, owe their heritage to this little music player.